Hello again. Uh, this time I am talking about relationships, and I'm going to be covering Evan and Valerie. So, I might have to call people and tell them that you can't come because this is going to be a long, long night. <laughs> um, anyways, relationships with Evan love, friendship. Family, just covering all of that. The main person that we're going to be talking to is, of course, and everybody knows this, Jim or James Hawkins. But yeah, let's just go with Jim. You know, the fluffy little cuddly bear puppy type boy. <laughs> Um, he's practically her world. She loves him to death. She knows it's love. I mean, people might say, hey, you're 15. How the heck do you know what love is? She knows it. It's in her butt, bl blood. It's boiling through her system. She can't get enough of him. Though, there are days, you know... You can't love everyone, you know, that person 24-7, unless you're like some kind of fucking robot. Uh, there are days she's like... Mm, I'm gonna strangle you. I just wanna hit you upside the head because you're, you're driving me crazy. Because of him, you know... Well, it's too dangerous, um, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Evan, I can't do that, you know, I'm a werewolf, blah, blah, blah. And she's just like, dude, just give it a bloody fucking chance. I mean, she wants to scream this at the top of her lungs. I mean, you've already seen how, many, how much she wants to, you know, get in a sack with him. And he's just like, no. Even when she's trying to fucking seduce him, he's like, no. Is he, is he I mean, if, if Valerie was there, she'd be saying, dude, are you, like, gay or something? Because seriously, there's this chick right here saying, practically saying, yo, dude, fucking jump me. Make me scream your name out. Give me a ride of my lifetime. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> now your people are going to be like, Oh my God, I'm never going to listen to this crazy woman ever again. <laughs> Anyways. um, Next is Bree. Bree is technically like a sister towards her. She'll do anything for her. I mean, she wants to keep her happy. She'll do anything to make make sure her baby is safe. Um, even though we haven't done, uh, we I haven't done much of Ethan and Brie moments. I would love to do that because hey, <coughs> Brie technically also wants Ethan to get out of that house. She wants her to be happy. I mean, Brie know how it is to feel used and abused. <coughs> Todd. Like a brother to her. Even though he, like, picks on Ethan and Jim. So does Brie, but really, like, like I said, we haven't had Brie moments in a while, and she's probably more focused on her baby right now than, you know, hey, ha, 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 he's too, la, 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 la. Todd, on the other hand, he's probably also not focusing on, well, he did pick on them a little, but he's probably more focused on his current relationship, what's going on with him. If, I forgot if Eva doesn't, if Eva knows that or not, I mean, if she does, I can't remember, sorry if I, just, yeah, I'm sorry if I can't. Uh, Penny, uh, is her roommate now. Uh, she will do anything for her as well. I mean, technically, 
Eva is just a kind, caring person that will help out anyone. Even Argo. Which, all you people are like, why is she leading him on? I mean, she has a boyfriend, so why is she not? Argo is technically. Argo brings out something in Eva that she fully doesn't understand. I mean, when she's. A, I mean, right now when she's around him, she wants to be this wild, crazy girl. So she doesn't have to think, oh my god, I, I have mom problems. I have to deal with this freaking guy trying to get me to have sex with him. Um, now I got this guy that looks like my father, which, is he my father or is he not? I mean, she's confused right now. And she wants to scream in the top of her lungs. She feels like she's going to go mad. And she doesn't want to lay this all on Jim because, well, he has werewolf problems. And when she finds out, hey, hey, guess what, baby, I, um, found out there's two other werewolves here. Yeah. Uh, she'll probably be even more, um, okay, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just not going to tell you what's going on with me because I don't want you to worry. Yes. Even though when she doesn't tell him, he's like, Eva. And she's like, oh, shit. <laughs> um... Let's see, I covered Jim, Bree, Todd, Penny. Oh, Belle. Belle is like a mother to her. She can go to her and tell her anything she wants to tell her that she can't talk to her mom about. I mean, technically she wishes and prays that, you know, why can't you just adopt me? And why can't I just live with you? I mean, you're more of a mother to me than my own mom. I mean, even now, Belle doesn't even care if um, Eva calls her mom. I mean, the relationship right there, I love. It's cute. And right now, we have to figure out how her father's going to tell her, hey, I'm actually your father, which Eva might blow a gasket. She might actually start yelling at him, say, at wondering why he lied to her. I mean, she, when she was growing up, he never lied to her. He always, well, I want to say never, you know, dad, so you have to keep some things from their children, but you know what I mean. Um, if I miss anyone else, Leave a comment below, and I'll get that on the next one. Okay, I currently have eight minutes into this. Well, oh, well. Um, Blondie! Yay, my little Blondie. Who is... Um... Interesting. <laughs> that's, the only, that's the only thing that can pop up in my head about her is interesting. Um... Her relationship with Jim, even though she's always in his business, um, yelling at him, uh, getting him to try and do things with his girlfriend, surprise her, spontaneous her, trying to get him to speak, you know. Hey, just admit, you got fucking dirty thoughts about her. I mean, you're a guy. Shouldn't you have dirty thoughts about her? Just spill it out. I mean, come on, stop being afraid to be in your tiny little shell and screaming out on top of the world. But sometimes what she puts in words ends up getting people mad. And she gets Jim mad a lot, apparently. <laughs> Jim probably wants to smack her upside the head and tell her to shut up for once in her life. But he's too kind. Or either that or, you know, he's just too... <gasps> I'm in my shell, so, uh, yeah. No, I'm not gonna hit you. And she's probably like, oh my god, just hit me. <laughs> um, Edward, or her, 
teacher, should I say. Oh, we all know what's going on with that. She kissed him. Ooh, she kissed him. Older guy, la 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 la. Who could be like her dad or, no, not dad, maybe like brother. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I'm on. Woo. Uh, anyways. Uh, she doesn't know if she's in love with him or if she's just this scared little girl, um, knowing, hey, if my mom, my, if my foster mom dies tomorrow, I have nothing. But, in reality, she does love him. I mean... It's hard to put it in words. I mean, we don't even know what's going to go on there. We don't know if everyone's going to be like, yeah, hey, how about we do it? Yeah, I mean, me and you both have something in common. We both love music. We're both uh, clumsy. We're both very childish. Except for, you use code for language, and I don't. <laughs> um, Tara, I would love to do more things with her. I mean, I can see them going around doing God knows what. And I wouldn't mind bringing um, one of Amy's characters in there with her. Be like a, like, the three musketeers, woohoo! Except for the blame, three blonde musketeers or something with the word blonde in it. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, of course, Man, I really don't have that much relationships with her. She just she speaks her mind. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't mind doing stuff with um other people's characters with her if they will get along with her. I don't, I don't know. She's more like, oh my god, you're this. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, now I'm like bad. I'm going in here. Sorry about my weird this my bubber jig something. Meow. Yeah, yeah, there. Meow. Um Well, anyways, like I said, if I left somebody out, leave a comment below and I'll get it next time if I get it. I'll Probably write it down and probably, you know, write what I'm going to say down. So that way you don't have to deal with this. Yay. Bye. <laughs> oh, my God.